Okay, today is spring cleaning day for me. So what I'm gonna do with this coffee pot is I'm gonna obviously take out this and I'm gonna dump that out and then I am going to fill the water. Oh, sorry, I have something on my finger and it's kind of grossing me out. <laughs> I'm gonna fill this up with water and some vinegar and pour it through there. Obviously, I'll rinse out the old coffee and have it run through. Okay, so here's the coffee pot all um, rinsed out. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Sorry, the little one is playing with her vacuum. Wow, very nice. Okay, so I filled it up with a little vinegar. I'm gonna add some water. So I'll show you my overall kitchen right now and then I'll show you when it's done. So you just take it like that and you dump it in here. I learned this from Dr. Oz. He said our coffee makers were probably the most germiest things because we don't usually wash inside. So there, and I breathe. And that's it. Okay, so this is my kitchen before. Look how nasty it is. I'm actually in the process of self-cleaning the oven. I am in the process of cleaning this. Um, don't mind these, these are the knobs. But I filled this up with one cup of water, some lemon, some cut up lemons, and two tablespoons of vinegar. And then you just put it on high heat and let it steam in there and it gets rid of a lot of stuff that is stuck up there. So I still have some washing to do up there, but other than that, it's getting real clean. And another thing I do is I take these little toothpicks and what I do is I just go through these little crevices, like right here. Let's see, I see some there, there, and I just kind of go Sorry, I kind of go through and get all that dirt. And then see, it shows you how much, how much dirt. It's kind of gross. I've actually done this once already. So, I just go everywhere with little crevices. I go everywhere with this. This is a stain, which I'm not sure how to get that. Okay, so I'm going to clean this refrigerator, the outside of it next, because just last week I cleaned the inside. But don't forget to take these off and wash them. If I can get it off, I'll have to do, I'll have to do both hands with that. But anyways, I'm going to wash this with soap and water, and then I'm going to take the outside and wash it with a um, stainless steel uh, spray. So I did the same thing with the dishwasher. I did this perfect stainless. I got it at Home Goods. I think it's three ninety nine. Um, and here is the finished look of this. Um, in the dishwasher, I have sprinkled baking soda, a cup of baking soda, and then I put a cup of vinegar in a micro or dishwasher safe bowl, and I put it on around with nothing in it. Now, I'm gonna take everything off my counters. Don't mind the floor, we're redoing the floor, so it's a hot mess. So I'm gonna take everything off the counters. As you can see, there's a lot. And I'm gonna scrub it down with um, 409 and really get it all nice and sanitized. Here's everything that is off my counters, which actually took longer than I thought. <laughs> so, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 409 and I am going to spray the walls, spray all of this. The stove will have to be done in a minute because it needs more than 409. So I'm just gonna spray all of this and then I'm gonna wash it down. Okay, so for, four, for my burners, I have added just some sprinkled baking soda with some um, what is that stuff? Vinegar. So I'm going to take a toothbrush and scrub around those. I might even add some Dawn soap to see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it really helps. It's getting in it off for the most part. It's just going to take a little bit of scrubbing. 
And I might just add some soap in here just to see, some Dawn soap, if I can't get it off easier with that too. But so far, it's kind of pretty clean. Okay, so I didn't know that these things came out. And what was underneath was this, which is pretty disgusting. So I have my little helper and she's in here scrubbing with me. So we are gonna get this nice and clean. Okay, so with a lot of scrubbing, this is the end product, which I'm very, very, very excited about. Now to work on this issue here. So yeah, that's not very pretty. I'm going to spray some oven off and see if I can get that clean. Okay, so here is my nasty sink right now. So I am going to put down some baking soda and um, some vinegar and see if I can't get this all scrubbed off and clean. Okay, so we're finally done getting everything cleaned. So I have all the cabinets clean. I did all the burners, which looks so much better. I did up there, I did the microwave cleaned it. That right there is like some kind of rust or something happened there. I, I can't get that off. Um, want me to it? hold on. And then here's the oven, which is way, way, way cleaner. And over here, I just have a bowl of fruit or well, tomatoes and fruit. Um, don't mind the floor. It'll be getting done. So we wash the windows. Everything's nice and clean. I did it. Audrey did it. We washed the table. Everything's nice and clean. Don't worry about over there. The, fr <laughs> the wood floor will get done. So here's this side. Just a minute, Audrey. And then I just took some, some little limbs from the backyard and put those up. Everything is nice and clean. And I just rearranged up there. Audrey, please. And then up there, I cleaned up there. Washed and cleaned up there. So here's the overview. So I'm liking it. Like I said, I cannot wait for the wood floors to get done. And now off to the boys' room. 